let's get ourselves connected. Gotta get yourself connected. Well, we just pulled into a recycling plant with this old computer to answer this week's inbox question. Josie from Edmonton, Alberta asks, AJ, I just got a new computer system. What do I do with my old one? Well, Josie, to help you answer that question, we're gonna to talk to Jason Dole, who's the district operation manager at a company called Regional Recycling. What they do here is they're gonna show us how to take these old computers and actually get rid of them. Let's grab this old computer and go see what happens. Hi, Jason. How you doing? I'm told I can uh, return this computer here. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, we started a recycling program here in BC in August, and we've been accepting uh, August TVs. August 2007? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, TVs, monitors, and computer equipment for recycling. Cool. And so um, do I have to pay anything when I drop this off here? No, you don't. It's uh, free of charge. Okay. Uh, it's a free service that we provide in BC. However, um, any of the new electronics or TVs that are purchased, yep. there's a recycling fee on there. Right, so basically the way that this program's funded is that when people are buying new televisions or new computers or whatever, they'll, they'll pay a recycling fee up front. Yeah, that's right. So by the time that thing's uh, out of date or end of use or end of life, I guess is the terminology that you use, right. yeah, yeah. then it'll uh, be taken care of. Yeah, it'll be recycled. So can I make any money by dropping this off? Um, no, you can't actually. Um, it's just uh, the program is done BC-wide, yeah. and all the funds that are collected from the recycling fees help to make sure that this stuff stays out of the landfill and it's recycled. Okay, and what is the um, um, overall, like, do you get a lot of computers in here? Oh. Um, we're averaging probably anywhere from 30 to 40,000 pounds a month on oh, wow. e-waste. Yeah, okay. it's quite a bit. And to think that this stuff was actually uh, pretty much just going to uh, landfill, except for a lot of the steel components that were still being recycled. So they were taking out some of the steel and the glass. But one of the big problems with these things being in the land, from what I understand, is that there's actually hazardous materials in a lot of these different devices, yeah, especially like televisions and monitors. Yeah, TVs and monitors have the nasty stuff in it, which can be uh, mercury and lead. And uh, this stuff can leach out inside the uh, landfills and stuff. So with the new recycling program that's uh, BC-wide, they're able to capture these products and recycle them uh, properly. Oh, cool. And so what happens after uh, this stuff comes here? You guys kind of sort it and, and package it up? Yeah, we do a, a skid sort. Okay. Um, one sort's going to be for TVs and monitors, yeah. one for CPUs, okay. and then one for peripherals, which are going to be keyboards, mouse, uh, printer, and fax. Yeah. Uh, the reason why the TVs and monitors are kept separate is because of the contaminated waste that can be in there, the mercury and lead and such. So they need to be handled differently. And then yeah. so does all this get shipped sort of to one processing plant somewhere where they kind of figure out yeah. what to do with it? Yeah, Encorp uh, Pacific has the uh, contract for BC and oversees the collection uh, from collection sites like us and take it to a, a few central locations in BC where there it is uh, shipped off to the recyclers. Here's a question for you. What about people being worried about the data, like when they bring in their old computers? Like, are they worried about people getting access to like, websites they've been to or like financial information? Right. Well, all the drop-off points uh, are bound to make sure that none of this equipment leaves the warehouse whatsoever. Right. right? So personal information is a key point for Encorp to make sure that that happens, and that is assured. Here at Regional Recycling, we're actually probably going to take it one more step and uh, our customers are going to be able to bring in their hard drives yep. and place them inside of a hard drive destroyer, oh, wow. which would just be a RAM that comes down and warrants this useless. And so, so I understand there's a few things that you can't drop off, like CD players or DVD players or, or cell phones, as an example. Yeah, I think they just wanted to start small. Like, let's okay. just start a few things into the program. The yep. feedback's great. Yep. And I think in the future, they're going to add on uh, new products like DVD players, CD players. I know that there is a lot of uh, people wanting cell phones in the back batteries to be recycled and sure. stuff. Yeah. Some places have taken that step on already. Okay. I know that the Ikea and some other places where you buy equipment like that, you can actually take it back. Okay. Drop and it I off. think that's just, it's going to add on and add on and eventually probably I'd see in the future that all electronics will be recycled. Very good. Well, if you're going to recycle your equipment, uh, be sure to think about, you can't just throw stuff in the landfills anymore. I think there's a ban on that now. There is. So it, you have to take it to recycling places. So look in your local neighborhood uh, because this is being recycled. Then you're paying for it when you buy your new stuff.